Hey there, quick message. So this is about how weak our enemies actually are. They inflict pain, they inflict agony and trauma for long periods of time. So we believe that they have this power, but they really do not. This is why they wear a mask. They hide behind these masks because they, they're not able to fully express themselves. They do not have the courage to uncover what they're truly feeling. So they wear a mask. They do not have the courage to say, I'm intimidated by you when you do this. You uh, threaten me when you say that. I'm jealous when you move in this way or that way. They do not have the courage to do that. So they wear a mask. And they know that if they had unmasked themselves right away, if they had expressed how they truly felt right away, we would have not allowed them access to us a long time ago. So they stay in character when they're in our presence to leech off of our energy. Because they do not have the fight in them to go and seek their own source of energy. So they stand by us and stay in our shadow to leech off of us. And then they play this manipulation game like we need them when they know they really need us. And this is also why they stand in groups, why they group together. Because they know that they could not break us on their own. They know that we were just playing small, you know, so they could play big. They know this. And so they group together. They group of people hoping that together as a group, we can break this person's spirit. We can drain this person of their energy. We can completely destroy this person, not knowing that our energy is coming from Jesus Christ. A well that never runs dry. They decide, okay, strength in numbers. We're, this is going to be more effective. You know, it might have some temporary damage, but it is not effective. There's nothing permanent in that. They know that they are able to identify with one another because they are all weak. They are all lacking something. And a lot of times that is courage. A lot of times that is heart. Mickey Mantle says a gang is where coward goes to hide. A lot of these people are cowards and they know it. So this is why they're grouping together because they do not have the, the, the courage to individually come to you and say, and challenge you. They do not have the courage to openly do that. And a lot of times when you address these individuals, they start to cry. They start to, you know, speak on something else. They try to deflect the situation and make it about them. They try to play victim and cry because they do not have the courage to, you know, assert themselves, be honest about what's really hiding underneath the surface. God does not like cowards. I believe it's Roman uh, 21 and 8 that speaks about how cowards are going to be delivered to the fiery lake God does not like cowards you know in the bible where uh Jesus is uh restoring a, de a demon possessed man the demons are repeatedly begging Jesus repeatedly begging him because they know where the power lies they know that the power is God's they know that it is not theirs and just like with our enemies they know that if we're standing in, in Christ they know that that power is going to continue being poured into us they know that that power is going to be refilled in us and they know that they're weak greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world they know this. They know that they have no power. They know that they're weak. They know that they can use only so many tactics before their well runs dry, before they are run out of resources, run out of energy, before they are broken trying to break us. They're weak. We do not have to give them any power. They tried long enough. We gave them power long enough. Their power is no more. Their power was false and true power cannot be taken away. And they know this. We know this now. So the enemy has no power. They are feeble, spineless, weak cowards. They have no power. I pray this helps, heals, and strengthens. And I will see you in the next video.